Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cynthia Kesentin and I'm a Mind and Body Coach. Today I'm going to take you guys through a series of Pilates for Runners exercises. So it depends where you are on your journey. If you're just starting out running and you find that you're always injured, then this class is for you. However, if you also find that sometimes you just need that extra strength to help you finish your race strong, then this workout is also for you. But if you guys are ready, come along with me. All I need from you is a kind of attitude and just allow yourself to enjoy the exercise and allow your body to flow. You are stronger than you think. In a way, we're going to turn on to my side just so you guys can see the alignment of my body. Take your hips slightly forward, roll the shoulders back. You can have your hands on your hips or you can have it stacked like so. Take it back and squeeze up. And back and squeeze. And if you prefer to have it like so, it's also fine. And back. Squeeze. You're warming up your glutes. Everyone knows that we need this to help us run nice and strong. Boom. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. Two more. And and one more and lift okay all right stay where you are actually i'm going to come to lift the right knee in line with the hip and take it down with this i always find out where do i put my hands you can have your hands go over here like so down give me four and three and two and one okay now float the knee up use your right hand to guide take it to the side bring it to center i'm looking away because you kind of have to fix your gaze on something that's not moving just so you find that balance yourself out and give me three more and two and one Place the leg down. My glutes are on fire already. I'm going to turn onto the side here. Lift it up and down. Lift it up and down. Shoulders back. I'm just in a slight angle here so you guys can see me. And three more. And two more. Give me one more. One more. Down. Okay, lift the knee up. Use your left hand to carry it out and in. Out, in, out. Give me three more here. And two more. And last one. Place the leg down. I'm going to turn towards facing you guys now. Okay, go back into your little squat. Your knee is a little bit wider here. Just so you make sure you're activating your glutes even more. Drive your knees out, almost like a sumo squat. And out, squeeze. And, and take it down, squeeze up. I remember when I started running, and I used to get a lot of shin splits. But it turned out, that I needed to work a lot of things, but mainly my glutes. And we find that they are normally weak whenever we are running. Most of us have weak glutes to be honest, because we sit all day. So it's always handy to work them out. And now I've lost count, so let's do two more. <laughs> and last one, I talk too much. Alrighty, bring your heels and your toes closer. Ground the left leg down onto your mat. Point the right toe as much as you can and flex. Point, flex. Point. You want to warm up the ankles before you run or even after. We're not warming it up after, you're stretching it after. And in, in. Three more. And two. And one. Place that leg down. Go for the other one. Left point, flex, point, 
flex, point, flex, and wait, shoulders back here, and boom, and three. I, I really found that this simple exercise here helped a lot. Like I said, with my shin splint and my runner's knees, which basically just means whenever I was running, I used to hurt a lot. Let's do one more. Okay, now place the leg down. You're going to go to the front of your mat and then you're going to lost it for me. Nice and gentle. Okay, you're here. Hand comes in front of you, hand in line with your shoulders. Lift it up, circle it around, bring it together, squeeze. Well, create an image of you squeezing a ball at the center. Lift up, out, together and push your breastbone forward. You don't want to be slouched here. If you find that you're slouching, bring your hips closer to your bar. Just so you give me that proud chest and right collarbones. Boom. And lift up. And together. And two more. And give me one more here. Take it out and bring it together. It brings your spine down on the mat. Slide your hands closer and place it down. Let's go for a nice pelvic curl. Inhale, melt your back down and exhale. Sink your abdominals, take it to the ceiling and down. And, and down. And lift up. And down. Lift up. Down. Give me three more. Reach your hands almost like you want your fingertips to touch your toes. That's how you know you've disconnected your shoulders away from your ears. So you're not here. You're down here. And two more. And one more. Hold it there. Kind of like it. It's close. My heels close. Now you're going to pulse. Take it down just to have a lift. Down. Lift. Hanky come up and stay here. And down. And squeeze your glutes every time. How? To get up. <laughs> and down. Work in the back of your legs. Hamstrings as well. And three. Two. Last one. Take it down. Have the knees to chest for me here. So could you move out? You can walk it like so. Really silence in your hips. Open the knee out. Okay, straighten the left leg here for me. Hold on to the right knee. You can keep your head down. Pull the right knee closer to chest. Swap it round. Connect your lower back to the mat. So it doesn't lift off at all. And reach it forward. And reach through the leg. And, and reach. And bring it. And reach. And forward. And give it five. Such an odd number. <laughs> Three and two and one. Hug the knees to chest for me. Okay, from here we're going to go for one of my favorite exercises. Lift your head and chest off the ground. Your knees come to tabletop. Your legs come to tabletop. If your toes are too high, bring them down. Reach out and bring it in. Reach out. Actually, let's circle it in. And reach out. And circle. We've got the space today, so why not? <laughs> and circle. Reach out. And circle. Give it two more. And last one. And place the head and chest out. Send your gaze to your left shoulder here. As you hug your knees to chest, just release this tension in the back of your neck. 
Okay. And now send your gaze to the right shoulder as you hold that into chest. Right, okay. You are going to take your right leg down on the ground and the left leg as well. Hand comes to the sides of the body. I feel like I need to shuffle <laughs> and worm myself down. Okay, we're here. Take the pelvis again to the ceiling. Keeping the height, make sure the rib cage is also not flaring out. So we've tucked everything in. Straighten the right leg out without dropping the pelvis. So you're here. Bring it in and out. Reach. In. Reach. In. Give me three. And two. And one. Place the leg down. Square off the pelvis if you did. Bring it here. Hand goes down. Straighten the left leg. Almost like someone is pulling it for you. And pull. And bring it up. Forward. Keep driving that right heel into the ground. That gives you more height as well and helps you stabilize. Reach. And three more. Two more. <laughs> Last one. Tucked and down. Square off the pelvis again. And just take it down to start position. All right, from here, you're going to bring your hands out into a T position if you've got the space. Draw both knees onto the right side of your mat. Turn your gaze to the left side. And just breathe into the side of the body for me. And take a well-deserved breather. Okay, and take it to center. Now we go to the other side. And boom. Send your gaze and breathe here for me. If you need a gentle nudge, a gentle twist, a gentle hand through for to pull onto that thigh. And it feels good, it feels good around here. Feel free for me. <laughs> okay, now bring your knees to center. Hands count onto your sides. I'm just placing my hands on my abdominals just so I can make sure it's working. We're just going to stretch out the lower back, so pull your navel in here and take it back. In, back, in, back, and in. Three more, two more, last one. Okay. Hand goes behind your head, interlacing your fingers. Let your hand, your elbows be wide. Lift your head up. And from here, you're going to pause. We need to warm up, challenge our corner swings, our pump house. Shoulder blades off the ground as much as you can. Keep your gaze on your knees. Lift and lift. Lift and lift. And Bring it out. Lift and give me five and four. Five seems to be my favorite number. Let's get three and two and one. Hold it there for me. Hold, hold. And as you're holding, make sure you have lost the connection in your abdominal. So we're not flaring it out. You're pulling it in away from your top melting the lower back onto your mat as much as you can. Lift. And take it down. Okay, lift up. Slowly, elbows wide. Take it down. And lift up. Take it down. Lift up. Take it down. Last one. Lift up. Take it down. 
Okay, place the head, pin chest down for me. Right, hands to the sides of the body. Go for a nice good pelvic curl. Lift it up. And hold it here. You can take your hands overhead. You feel a deeper stretch of the midsection as well. Two big inhales here and out. One big inhale. Take it down. Hands float to the sides of the body. Straighten the legs out as much as you can. And go through the head again. We're going to roll up. Hold on to your thighs. Push your elbows into the ground and lift up. Reach forward and close to the ceiling. Now reverse that movement. Take it down. And lift up. Down. Lift up. Down. Shoulders away from your ears. Lift up. And reverse. Reach. Hands to ceiling. And dive direction when you go down. When you come up, you'll reverse it. Dive. <laughs> and reach. Last one. Dive. Take your hands out, place the hand down. Okay, shut myself back. You're going to separate your legs, but only as wide as your mat here. If you find that you're here, feel free to bend your knees. But if you find that you can push your breastbone forward, then imprint the back of your legs down onto the ground, your calves, your hamstrings. Hand comes like so. Hand and line with your shoulders, pull your leg in. Turn to the left. Send your left hand back and almost like you're cutting your last pinky toe. Reach forward, bring it back up, travel to the center and cut off the left, right here. Reach, travel through the center and reach. This is more coordination than anything. <laughs> Reach here and bring it in. You will find that the more you do this often, then of course you start to remember how to just flow with it and it comes natural after a while. You, if you have a routine that you do for running, you can always stick this one in between and here. But even before you start your run, you find that your body is strong enough. Even as I do this exercise, I'm ready <laughs> to go for a run. And bring you back and stay here for me. Hands, bring the shoulders like so. One, and two, three, and four. Now reverse it. Four and three, big, big circle there. Two and one. Bring it in. Hands come to the side. Point your toes. Hand in, come to go with inhale. And exhale, lift your gaze. Tuck your pelvis under. Place your lower back. Float your hands. All right, you're going to turn onto your sides for me. You can come onto your elbows like so. The top leg only come up to hip height. You want that leg nice and floppy, heavy, just so you make sure the glutes do the work. Take it slightly across here. You're going to drop it for 10, nine, eight, seven. You can bend the bottom leg. Six, five, four, just hip height. Three, two, one. Take the leg back, 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 back. Take it forward. Back, 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 back. Don't drop the chest. Take it forward. And 
six. We're doing here. And that's three. And two. And one. Leave the leg at the back. Upper hand release. And go for a twist. Lift. Down. Lift. Down. Lift. Down. And breathe. And lift. And three more. Two. And one. Hold. 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 Relax. Place the leg down. Give your bum a nice rub. Stab the knees together and just turn onto your other side. Again, use your elbows to push the ground away from you. You can have the bottom leg straight or you can have it bent. Coming up to just hip height. Flop your legs, flop your feet, forward, lift, down, lift, and breathe. Breathe and lift. Gaze up and lift. Boom. Boom. And three, two, and one. Take the leg back and forward. Back and forward. Back and forward. Back and forward. Two more. And one more. Leave it there. Opposite hand. Lift. 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 Boom. Boom. Onto your knees for me, coming into all fours like so. Tuck both toes under. Let's go for a nice cat cow stretch here. Inhale and exhale. Drum up, back and on, go back and travel through the center and forward. And forward and breathe. And one more, let's go through the center, build the upper back, around the lower back, like so. Bring yourself into a very much more disturbed respiration. Go from side to side again. Okay, coming back into all fours. Tuck your right toe under, send the leg straight. And you're going to lift the leg up and go across. Lift up, tap down, across. Across. Hold on to this midsection so it's not just collapsed. Movement in your body upper body stays nice and still so try to get rid of any movements at all and across and bring it down and across and down and across and down okay now lift it up and then you're going to pulse 10 9 8 7 6 Five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knee down and just rotate from this tightness in your hips. For any tension you might be feeling, go back and forward here for me. And if you reverse the circle as well. Four. Okay, now let's tuck the left toe under and send that leg straight. Keep that center line in your mat, so imagine it's center line. And lift up, go across. Lift up, tap it down. And across, and tap. And across. 
Tap. Across. Tap. Give me two more. Across. Last one. Okay. Once you've done your last one, then you're going to bring that leg in line and lift up for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. When you're going to begin, send yourself into a rest position. Or you can play around with it here, circle it around, whatever feels good for you. Side to side. Move your hips. Stay with your body. Okay. Feel free to have a simple hand action if you have one to next to you. From there, coming into all fours. Tuck both toes under. Tilt the nose to the ceiling. Head in and out for me. All right, from there, come into all fours again, and we're back into hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. You can stay on your palms or you can stay on your fist. Tuck both toes under. Lift the knee off the ground. It's not your bum is not in line with your uh, your bum is not to the ceiling. You want it in line with your spine. So you're here. Pull your navel in away from your top and hold for me. Hold and hold and breathe and hold. Drop the knees. Let your bottom to your heels. Take your wrist off the ground and just stand like right so. Reverse. Okay, let's do that one more time. Remember, like I said, you can add this to a routine, or if you're having like a rest day where you're not running, then you can slot this in as well. This works just as good. Hold it for me. And hold. And drop the knees. Blow your body to your heels. Right, and that's it. Beginner friendly, like I said, and as I promised, and beginner friendly, I delivered. Thank you guys so much for joining. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember that you have to keep your training going in order to see the dynamics of your body change. And of course, as time goes by, the more you strengthen your cross strain with Pilates, you'll find that you become a stronger runner. Until next time, I'll see you guys on the mat soon. Have an amazing day.